The topic of the next issue of GM is plaque inflammation, atherosclerotic plaque inflammation that is, uh, the role of this in the disease process, in the development of acute events. We're also discussing how to treat it, how to find it, and if we find it and treat it, how can we monitor the effect of treatment. Today, this is an extremely important topic because we need a new generation of uh, cardiovascular preventive drugs that can reduce the risk for uh, myocardial infarction and stroke. And these new drugs need to be directed on the disease process in the plaque. And inflammation is the key to the development of the event in the disease process. The ultimate complication of atherosclerosis that brings the patients to our attention as doctors most immediately is the acute coronary syndromes. And my brief at this meeting was to speak about what we've learned about the mechanisms of these thrombotic complications of atherosclerosis. One new aspect of the disease process in the plaque that, uh, that we will focus particularly on, I think, is on the repair process. We've looked a lot on inflammation that degrades the plaque and increases uh, the risk for rupture, but with in this number, we will also focus on the repair processes, to see on the good side of it, and how can we activate that, because maybe that's where we will find the new therapies. It's very exciting to see the progress from JIM meeting on atherosclerosis to JIM meeting with a periodicity of about five years. And it's really very useful for the Journal of Internal Medicine to dedicate an issue to a very comprehensive state-of-the-art review because so much has changed and we're learning so much. It's very exciting and particularly because we're now on the threshold of meeting the challenge of translating the basic science to advances in clinical therapy that may improve the outcomes of our patients. So this get-together and the recording in the Journal of Internal Medicine is I think a key stepping stone to progress in our field. I think this issue of GIM has the possibility to really become a landmark issue in cardiovascular disease. Uh, we are at the stage today where we are getting a new uh, knowledge that makes it possible for us to uh, test completely new therapies. And I think a lot of these possibilities will be summarized in this issue.